Okay, there's my little um, fully levitated pulse motor rotor situation. I went ahead and built up a little structure to uh, work with this and examine it and analyze what's going on. And people that haven't been following along, uh, what the goal was to it was to eliminate friction on a pulse motor by making a levitated uh, bearing using pyrolytic graphite. And this is the uh, the way it's set up. Uh, I bought this little kit. It was 24 bucks. It was really expensive. Came with a little platform and a whole bunch of these um, pyrolytic graphite chips that you can play around with. And what happens is if you get magnets alternating poles and put them together in an array, the pyrolytic graphite is diamagnetic in that it's repelled by both poles and so it floats it floats in the middle of that thing and that's what's going on there and then uh, with experimentation trial and error I came up with this little, um, little pulse motor that uh, is solar operated and it's just one of these guys it's just one of these dollar store uh, solar waivers they come apart really easy and that's just the base right there. They're not glued or anything. And the drive unit comes right out and uh, makes a perfect uh, low power driver for these ultra low power uh, pulse motors. Um, uh, I got started with this with Laser Saber and he's got a beautiful one that he's built up. Um, and I'll give a link to that video once again that will show you the uh, amount of time one of these things could run on the energy contained in like a double a battery and it'll blow you away and um, this one is not like his uh, my power consumption is much 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 higher than what he is showing he's taken these little coils and he's got eight of them in series and when you do that the amount of resistance um, impedance and everything it gets way way up and if you can trigger that with a small amount of power and you can eliminate the friction and make the rotor assembly light enough you can get one of these things to rotate on very very small amounts of power but what I was interested in was the friction because all of my long-running motors are running into friction problems with the course of time the stuff that runs many, many months uh, on into the years. And so I might build this up, continue on with this project, and build this up into something a little bit more uh, sophisticated um, using maybe ring magnets like what he's using. But anyway, that's the little uh, floating rotor, fully levitated rotor pulse motor that uh, uses pyrolytic graphite. Thanks for watching.